All right, guys, let's see how we can install Rabbit MQ and afterwards how we can use it using Node.js. So first from the Rabbit MQ website, we'll go to the uh, button download and installation. Here we'll be using Ubuntu, so we'll click on Debian and Ubuntu installation. I'll be using the GitHub installation, so uh, we will need to follow this procedure manual installation with uh, the package J. Actually, it's uh, quite easy. You just copy this line, you get the archive, and then you run the command uh, Debian package manager uh, minus I uh, to install the Rabbit MQ uh, server. You may see that you might have errors because uh, RabbitMQ is uh, depending on Erlang, so from erlangsolutions.com and then uh, from resources download, uh, we'll go and uh, download again for Ubuntu our uh, language. We'll use this uh, first solution, so we'll add uh, the repository key and install it again the same way. You may try to type afterwards to uh, update the repositories and type uh, apt get install Erlang or just type sudo apt install fix missing and uh, this will install all the libraries uh, which are needed uh, for the uh, rabbit mq and also will install afterwards automatically rabbit mq so okay that's the the procedure and it works uh, with ubuntu 19.10 as well as uh, uh, with above versions so here we are on 2004 so for now everything is compatible and works correctly right afterwards we can type a sudo system uh, control a status rabbit mq server service we'll see that uh, the service should be in state active and running this means that uh, the message uh, uh, queue is working and uh, let's test now the message queue uh, so we will have uh, two files receive and send.js and uh, also we'll install one supporting uh, library so we'll just type npm install mqplib and uh, this will enable us to communicate from node.js so from those two files uh, to uh, our rabbitmq and uh, let's see uh, what are those files right now uh, so we can open uh, Visual Studio Code and on the send side we are requiring the installed library first and uh, we are connecting to our uh, local host where the message queue resides. After we are uh, connected successfully we are creating uh, one channel. In this channel our messages will flow through and uh, we are creating our first queue and through this queue we are sending messages. So first we are setting up the queue uh, by telling not to save the data on our system. Uh, we are setting up this uh, parameter by using assert queue. And uh, send to queue is the most important operator. It's using our queue, so it will use q one and we'll create a buffer out of our message, which is hello world and it's a string. It, it will create a permanent buffer from this and uh, it will send it using this queue and using this channel here. So after a certain time, it will close the connection. That's basically what the code is doing. On the receiving side, again, we are connecting uh, to our uh, message queue and we are trying to create a channel if it's not already created uh, because we don't know who will first uh, create a channel, whether on the receiving side, we'll be creating the channel first or whether on the sending side. So afterwards we are choosing the same queue, uh, Q1, and uh, setting up parameters again for the queue. And here we are just waiting uh, for some messages on this queue. So we are consuming all the messages um, that are coming through this queue. And the moment we are receiving a message, we write on the console received uh, and uh, the uh, content of the message, uh, which is parsed uh, to string. Uh, here also we are setting uh, one uh, flag to this uh, channel, uh, which is a no acknowledgement. If this flag is set to false, we should manually acknowledge every uh, received uh, message. 
if it's not acknowledged it will continue uh, to traverse inside of the uh, queue and uh, will consume memory all right let's try the function of the message queue right now we go to the terminal and uh, here we'll start uh, for example the receive gs so we'll type note receive and uh, gs and we see it waiting for messages in q1 here in another terminal i will type note uh, send.js and see that we are sending a hello world and this hello world is received um, we can send another one and again the message queue is receiving the message one more thing i would like to show you uh, it's a very nice visualization plugin and this plugin can be enabled uh, by using rabbitmq plugins enable and it's called uh, rabbitmq management uh, so basically it gives a web interface uh, where we can uh, follow a lot of parameters of uh, the queue and we can uh, follow this uh, by uh, browsing uh, this port on the local host where the rabbitmq is installed and then entering with uh, guest and guest now here we see that uh, our uh, queue we browse to the queues and here we see the traffic and the message rates uh, are displayed here so you can uh, play around uh, this uh, interface you can follow the different channels uh, so from now on uh, you can play along and use uh, rabbitmq the way you like it all right guys i hope the information in the tutorial was useful for you so if you like it you can subscribe to the channel.